a block of mass m block of mass m slides down on a rough inclined plane with constant with constant velocity slides down so the net direction of motion the net direction of motion is downwards right and velocity is a constant therefore acceleration is zero the angle made by the inclined plane with the horizontal is theta so this angle is theta we consider this to be the horizontal the magnitude of the contact force is okay so we know that since the body is sliding downwards right oh my bad since the body is sliding downwards the net direction of motion is downwards and the three forces acting on the block here would be one the the weight of the body acting towards the earth second would be the normal reaction on the block due to the inclined surface and third will be the force of friction which friction since it is sliding down there is some relative motion therefore it would be friction kinetic right okay now let's try to go into these um, uh, forces one by one starting with weight so first we'll resolve weight and how do we resolve weight we will have to resolve weight into two components one will be the horizontal component wx and the other will be the vertical component wy now horizontal and vertical with respect to what with respect to the inclined plane so i will have to resolve weight into two components let us do that so one component would be the horizontal component which will act like this which is parallel to the which is parallel to the inclined surface and the other would be and the other would be the the vertical component which acts like this right so so we have two components so this weight mg this weight here mg can be resolved into two components one which is mgx the horizontal component and the other which is mgy the vertical component so this this angle here is perpendicular perp 90 degree and these two lines are parallel right okay now what will i do i will have to find out these values for for that for that what we'll do is we'll try to understand only the components of weight so weight which is acting downwards can be okay now how did i get this figure how did i get this figure see this vector over here right this vector it can be trans translocated from this place and keep it over here without changing its properties so that's how i get this let us name this is this vector mgx can be it can be shifted from here and could be kept over here keeping the tail uh, tail and the head over in this location right so we have this triangle now now once we have this triangle once we have this triangle we can write down the components of weight and how do we do that so we have components of weight in every body diagram as this theta component would be mgx and uh, sorry uh, this uh, opposite to theta would be mgx and adjacent to theta would be mgy so so we can write we can write this component as how do you write how do you write the angle from here so what is sin theta what is sin theta in this triangle sin theta in this triangle is mgx whole upon hypotenuse which is mg right so mgx can be written as mgx can be written as therefore mgx can be written as mg into mg into sin theta similarly what is cos theta from here cos theta is mgy right adjacent by hypotenuse which is mg which is mg and therefore what is mgy mgy can therefore be written as mg into mg into cos theta which therefore gives us which therefore gives us this component right okay maybe i'll just use the correct color so that things become clear to you so this component can be written as this component can be written as mg mg what mg x which is mg sin theta 
is going to be written as md sine theta and we have another component acting down towards like this acting perpendicular to like this which is nothing but mg cos theta and then we have and force of kinetic friction here okay now let's let's try to understand all the forces acting on the acting on the block so now we have four forces one normal reaction acting perpendicular to the inclined surface mg cos theta acting perpendicular to the inclined surface friction not static this should be friction friction kinetic right friction kinetic and then mg sin theta acting along the plane downwards now if we apply if we apply Okay, let's let's start here. Okay, so if we apply sigma f x is equal to zero and sigma f y is equal to zero, why do we have sigma f x and f y equal to zero? That's an interesting question. Why? Because what is sigma f is equal to? Sigma f x is equal to sigma f x is actually equal to m into m into a x. And what is sigma f y is equal to? Sigma f y is equal to m into a y. But since the object is moving with constant velocity since the object is moving with since the object is moving with constant velocity the acceleration is equal to zero and therefore and therefore ax will also be equal to zero and since there is no motion in the vertical direction the block is neither going up or is it going down it is only sliding down it is not going vertically up nor is it going vertically down it is only sliding down therefore a y will also be equal to zero now what does it mean when sigma f x is equal to zero sigma f x is equal to zero implies that forces acting forces acting in the right direction should be equal to forces acting in the left direction what are the forces acting in the right direction uh maybe i'll write it like this forces acting in the left direction left direction will be equal to forces acting in the right direction so forces acting in the left direction this is the block the only force acting in the left direction is nb sin theta so we can write nb sin theta is equal to the only force acting on the right direction is fk which is my pad again this friction friction kinetic right so we have friction kinetic is equal to mg sin theta now we have sigma fy is equal to zero what is sigma sigma fy is equal to zero implies that forces acting along the vertical direction sum of forces acting along the vertical direction is equal to zero which means forces acting upwards should be equal to forces acting downwards now the only force acting here upwards is normal reaction so we have normal reaction is equal to forces acting downwards the only force acting downwards is mg cos theta this is equal to mg cos theta so n is equal to mg cos theta and fr is equal and fk is equal to mg sin theta now see now comes the concept now the question is asking us for the magnitude of contact force one more time the question is asking us for the magnitude of contact force now out of these three forces acting here how many of them are contact forces see normal reaction yes it is contact force because it is due to the property of two surface being in contact friction we know friction will oppose two bodies in contact but weight weight is not a contact force therefore all we need to do is we need to remove this element of weight from the free body diagram to understand the on the magnitude of contact force but we also need to understand that when we remove the weight we can't remove its component why because although we have been asked to find out only the components here the components are otherwise equal to friction and normal reaction both of which are contact forces okay so so if i consider if i consider only the two contact forces here which is normal reaction and friction normal reaction and friction i can say that normal reaction can be replaced by can be replaced by mg sin theta and kinetic friction can be replaced by mg cos theta therefore the two contact forces acting on the block are now mg sin theta and mg cos theta acting in these two directions respectively which means there would be a resultant like this and by virtue of being perpendicular to each other we can say that the angle between normal reaction and friction kinetic kinetic friction is 90 degree and therefore this angle between two vectors theta is equal to 90 degree and let us say that r is a resultant between them
and if r is a resultant between them we know we know that the resultant of these two vectors can be written as r is equal to root of n square which is let me just write it down so this is n right this is n and this is and this is fk we can write this as n square plus f square plus 2 n fk cos theta what is theta 90 so this is cos 90 what is cos 90 cos 90 is equal to cos 90 degree is equal to 0 therefore this term will get eliminated now all we have to have is n square plus fk square what is n square mg sin theta the whole square what is fk square mg cos theta the whole square what is mg sin theta whole square m square g square sin square theta m square g square cos square theta i'll take out m square g square common so what we have is sin square theta plus cos square theta which is equal to 1 and therefore root of m square g square which is mg and therefore r is equal to mg